Oh, the new rule. Um, I mean, really, honestly, I, I, I don't think it's going to change the game a whole lot, so I'm different than some of these people. But I think what the numbers say is the shorter the kick or the further out it is for the return team, like 10-yard line, if the ball is kicked to the 10, uh, I think the data says you should return it, you know, so I think we're still going to see a lot of returns, um, even in those situations. There may be some times where it makes sense, um, and I don't know all the rules yet. Like if you're kicking off the 50, does it still go to the 25 or or not? Um, but at the end of the day, my job is whatever the rules are, find a way to be the best we can be inside of those. So. It's been a slow trickle for a while to take special teams out of the game, though. Any yeah, the conspiracy theories, which I usually have those, but uh, <laughs> no, um, I, I don't, I really don't believe that. You know, I don't think that's what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to make the game safer. I think over the last handful of years, the league's been incredible about that. They've done a great job. Uh, making the game safer for the players. I think it's a better game today than it was. It's definitely different. Um, but I, I think for the most part, they've done a great job, and I trust what they're doing. You have a, a place kicker, or would you like to see somebody maybe with more experience brought in to compete? I know Robbie Gold's out there, and there's other players. Yeah, no, great question. Uh, no, I feel really good about the two guys we got right now. Um, you know, Badgley obviously played well for us a year ago. He's a very accurate kicker. He might not have some of the leg strength and all that. Um, as some of these guys, but then, you know, the, the guy we brought in, Parker Romo, John Parker Romo, he, uh, he's got a big leg, he's talented, he's been really good for us, so I think it'll be a good competition and excited to see how it plays out. We'll be looking for a new kick returner this year. I think Justin handled most of that for you guys last, last year. Uh, do you like what you have maybe in the, in the pool of guys that are there? And, and depending on how much he plays in office, could Jameer be in the mix there too? Will you at least look at him for that? Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of Gibbs, I think that's going to come down to, again, kind of his role, offense, and uh, how we're using him and all that. Obviously, he's a weapon back there. He's a great college returner, Georgia Tech and Alabama. Um, so I think that's definitely a possibility that he, he does help us to some degree, what level that is, whether that's like part-time situationally, you know, um, or full-time. But so there's a lot of different options there with him. And then with the other guys, it's kind of been this way the last couple of years. We really didn't know who the returner was going into the first year and it ended up being Godwin. And then the next year and it ended up being JJ. Um, but. We'll, we'll see. We got some good good body types. Uh, Jamar Jefferson could go back there. Craig Reynolds could go back there. Um, anybody who's kind of a running back, as long as they can catch that, you know, kick or that ball, um, would have a good skill set, obviously, to play back there. And that's kind of what we've done in the past. So we'll see where it goes. I feel good about it. Are there still plans to use Jamie as a gunner on the punt? I think, again, the same thing, obviously, it won't be with us for a little bit at the start of the year. But I think at the end of the day for us, it's, you know, what gives our football team the best chance to win the game. And the guys' role or our players' role on special teams is largely um, based off of his role on offense or defense. And the more they play on offense, defense, the less they play on special teams, the less they play on offense, defense, the more they play. On special teams, I'm sure that'll hold up for him too, depending on his role. Gabe, yeah, you look at this roster, you, you see a lot more depth at a lot of a lot more positions. The linebacker, especially a, a, a position that's you know heavily used in, in um, special teams. With the improved depth of, of the roster, do you expect special teams to be even better this year? Just with the the pool of guys that you'll have, I mean, you'll have some experienced guys. You get Jerm back, some of those guys just. The more depth you have in a football team, is it just natural that special teams becomes, you know? Yeah, I think that'd be fair to say. I mean, I would say the last two years we've had two good groups. Those guys, you know, both years have played at a pretty high level. So um, we got a lot to live up to. I think we talked about this a year ago. I mean, the back end of the roster changes over so much from year to year. Um, so for us on special teams, it's a whole new group. And the goal is to find a way on each play to get 11 guys to play great. And I know what you're saying, you know, um, that 
if the roster is better, we should be better. We got to play better and we got to execute better. And so there's a lot to that. We got to we got to do a good job coaching wise of putting those guys in the right position. But yes, theoretically, we should be in good shape. <laughs> as long as long as I can do my job, we'll be all right. Yeah, I, I did like his special teams too. Yeah, made a bunch of plays, fun to watch. Yeah, no doubt. We're good. Getting Jay Maurice maybe back. How important was that? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's just great to have him. I mean, his energy, just seeing his face, uh, he looks great. Um, and he's a great player. I mean, even this morning, we had like a couple examples on kickoff cover reps and they were like him from a couple of years ago. And it was like, yeah, man, it is good to have him back. He can make some plays, so he definitely will help us out. You see where you in North Carolina. I don't think he had a ton of special teams work in college. How do you bring him along? What sort of factor could he be you know, to at least yeah. be in the playing group? Yeah, he's a... Uh, He's a good question because he's a guy who's very intriguing to me, and you're right. He did not have a lot of special teams film, so I wasn't really sure um, what he would look like when he came in here. But he's a good body type. He's got some size. He's got some strength. He's athletic. It looks like he moves pretty good. So I'm, I'm excited about working with him and trying to develop him. Trusted on, on that punt team and made some plays there as well. What are the attributes you look for for a guy that fills that spot? Uh, Gosh, it's like that, that position is like a quarterback. You know, the guys, you would love a guy who has some natural leadership qualities. that It's got a little charisma to him that the other players rally around. Um, but, yeah, he, he did a great job for us, obviously. We'll miss him. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. we got to figure out who that's going to be. And right now, honestly, we're not totally sure. Yeah, we want somebody who can run the ball really fast and get out on the outside and then he can throw it to him. And then, and, uh, that but, is part of it, right? Because he was... Yeah, he was outstanding. Yeah, he is incredible. I love him. Uh, yeah, we're going to miss him for sure. Yeah.